So I'm here with Louis Albrecht. He's from Kent Ridge High School. And Louis, you're actually committed to play at Washington State University. What about that school kind of uh, drew you in and kind of made you want to make that choice? So I knew the old coaches didn't have the best past record of being there. And once I saw the new coaches that got hired were there, they showed immediate interest in me from the past area code tryout at Gonzaga. And after that, they got in touch with me right away. Uh, they introduced themselves, thought they were great people, looked up their past stats over at New Mexico State, and was happy with that. And just th I just thought they were going to turn the whole program around, so that's why I thought it would be a great place for me to fit, fit in. Yeah, especially, you know, Pac-12 school, I mean, there's great competition, especially when it comes to baseball. I mean, really, Pac-12, SEC, those are powerhouse areas. So, you know, what's it like to know that you're going to go against competition that really is, you know, a lot of players are going to be major league bound as well? Uh, it means a lot to me personally because I was one, one of my goals was to get in the top in one of the top five power conferences. So being in Pac-12 and getting to stay home in Washington is going to be pretty nice. Try to be the hometown kid even though they're over in the Palouse, but yeah. it's going to be fun. Yeah, it's always nice to kind of be close enough for family and friends to come watch you and stuff like that. So, you know, this summer and going into this year, what things are you focusing on, really trying to work on to improve your game as you prepare for the college level? Um, I'm just keeping the same work ethic I've had. I'm I'm going to keep going to the cages, obviously hitting and stuff. going to keep the work up with the receiving, make sure to keep my arm strong and get it stronger. Always have accuracy and be solid behind the plate. And then, you know, this being your senior, what goals do you have personally? What goals do you have um, for your high school team as well? High school team, we have a lot of returners from last year, so we're hoping to go pretty far. I had a conversation with my coach earlier this year, and he said even this last year wasn't our best. He's excited for next year because we have a lot of talent coming back. It's always nice to have that talent coming back, guys who have played together for a while. You know, and for players, young players, a lot of times they have major league players they've looked at and, and watched and really like their either their attitude or their style. Is there a player that you've followed and been like, you know, that's the player that I want to be like and kind of simulate my game after? He's a young one, but uh, Will Banfield, who is the number one catcher in the 2018 class and was drafted by the Marlins, I always like looked at him to be like him because the stereotypical catcher build is like shorter, chunkier, or a big just big guy overall. Yeah. He's he's kind of like my body style. He's not too tall, but he's like skinny. He's more muscle and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing my work to get in the weight room and just staying that being that fit catcher that's very mobile and everything. Yeah, having a mobile catcher is nice. I think a lot of teams are starting to realize right. that. Uh, but I'm even seeing a lot of catchers who are base stealers and runners yeah. as well. So that's that's kind of a, a new trend. I, I, I kind of like it personally. So, um, you know, also to be able to play at that level, it's not by accident. You have to work hard. You have to ethic. But there will also be people in your life who are motivating you and encouraging you. Who in your life has been the influence to really uh, make you better and make you the best you can be? Um, I'm going to say my dad. My dad played ball at the UW first, and he's, he told me ever since day one I can be whatever. I can be as good as I want to be. So ever since then, he's always pushed me, go to the cages, go go get better, go catch some bullpens. You're, you'll be good if you put your work into it. That's good advice. And the last question I have for you, you, know, you always see kids around the ballpark who have the dreams. What advice do you have for those kids who want to play at the college level or even beyond? Just always have fun with it and keep putting your work in. You put your work in, scouts will find you, coaches will find you, and you'll just have fun while doing it. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.